r slash ask reddit what video games have you spent countless hours on and said to yourself wow i really got my money's worth out of this game stardew valley i've played through the main storyline on pc at least three times then bought it on mobile and played through twice on there. I'm thinking of installing mods and messing around with it again. All in I spent around £20 to buy the game twice and I have at least 300 hours in it. Uh, what exactly do you do in that game? 50% farming, endless clicking and doing the math to minutes max profits and efficiency or chilling and trying to make your farm pretty. 45% social, slow story through talking to townspeople each day and giving them gifts. Get a person to like you enough to get married. 5% fighting, going into mines, clicking to kill monsters and gain resources for farming and profit. Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas. I'd add Fallout 3 to that as well. That game is pure glory. Same here. Fallout NV is hands down my favorite Fallout game and probably has my favorite DLC set of any game I have ever played. Either Minecraft or Terraria for me. I got Terraria on sale for £1.49 and have played it for over 600 hours. Amen brother. I bought Terraria in 2012 for $3.39 and have nearly 5,000 hours in it. Also, I bought 7 Days to Die in 2017 for $10.61 and have nearly 3,000 hours in it. Terraria is the most fun I've ever gotten out of the price of a pizza. I've spent countless hours with family and friends in that game. Age of Empires 2. I spent most of my maturing teen years on that. Hence the crippling, no wait, crushing inability to socialize to date. Unless you two like to occasionally cheese stick jimmies. Long time, no siege. Start the game already. Kerbal Space Program Steam says I have over 1k hours logged to it. Last played it a year or so ago. Did a science mode run because I didn't want to deal with money. Mun return. Minmus Return, Orbital Rendezvous, Duna Landing and Return, Eve Orbit, I can't gilly as well, but I couldn't make an Eve Lander work, too much DV needed and getting a monster lander there wasn't working, I tried a multiple refueling strategy to send tankers to refuel first in LKO and then an Eve Orbit, didn't work out because the lander kept blowing up during the Eve transfer burn, Saw last weekend that 1.8 and 1.9 got released since I last played. Booted it up. Decided full on career mode. Since then I landed on Mun, Minmus, Duna, and Gilly. And have finally designed an EVE lander and return ship. Decided to test it last night. The lander could achieve orbit on its own with half of its fuel capacity. So I know it gets back from the EVE surface. Reverted to VAB to save money. Then built the transfer and launch stages below it. It cost 450k to build and I had about 520k in the bank. Launched smoothly. Got to orbit and had plenty of fuel to get the lander to even back after and rendezvous. Things look good. Decided to test the lander wouldn't flip or blow up on re-entry. Turns out I forgot a decoupler. Also had to go to tracking at some point during the test. Turns out you can't revert to VAB after going to tracking. Now I have to raise about 500k to fund my Jeb's Eve trip. All this after coming back on a whim. I love this game. Halo 1-3. Halo soundtrack intensifies. Rimworld. I'm sorry. Do you mean human leather cowboy hat war crime simulator? My girlfriend is not a gamer. But she was so intrigued when I told her that one of my colonists had a psychic break and started digging up corpses. She had no idea that was a thing a video game could even do. To be fair, I am having a hard time thinking of a game that is not RimWorld that does that. Animal Crossing. I saved up for over a year of Christmas and birthday money to buy myself a Nintendo DS and some games when I was 10. I wasn't allowed violent games, I was barely allowed the DS to begin with, so Animal Crossing was my most exciting game. I spent so many hours with that game, and I still play it occasionally as an adult. It's such a cute, relaxing game. I play ACNL every day, I have a friend in Montreal, I'm in Vancouver, and every evening we get together and go to the island for some games. Then we sit and talk about our day. We've both pretty much maxed out our towns by now. It's really just a way to socialize now. Minceraft. I love building boats out of meat. Minecraft of course. 
Played with it for years 2011. I wanted to be an architect back then. Unfortunately I stopped for 2 years and then lost my account. I think this was the time inactive accounts were being deleted. Doom. If I had a frustrating day at work or just want to unwind, there's nothing better than to slaughter your way through a horde of demons. I would play the original one for hours. I still remember the sound of the spiders. The shotgun noise will forever be ingrained in my memory no matter how long I do not play it, and the grunting every time he's hurt. Shit now it's stuck in my head. Subnautica. Absolutely gorgeous. Incredibly immersive underwater gem of a game with so much to do. Build, and explore. I have spent just over 300 hours playing it before finally more or less running out of things to do. And it still calls me back. Obscenely good value for a scant $25. I can't wait for Below Zero to be completed it looks amazing so far. Ha, huh, I had to stop playing the content until they are done. It was just too fun to spoil at the before the actual release. Hollow Knight. I would say it's worth it even if it was $60. I played this initially and abandoned it early. I started over recently and I'm really getting into it this time. Early game has some issues. You have no abilities, including movement abilities, minimal navigation aid, and probably aren't mentally prepared for how much backtracking the game demands. But it only gets better. The Binding of Isaac. I've spent over 500 hours on a game for $25 and I never get bored. I got it for free on PS Plus 6 years ago. I finally got the 1 million percent trophy a couple weeks back. If repentance makes its way to console. I just know I'll be sucked back in for another 200 hours. Send help. Skyrim. RDR2. Horizon Zero Dawn. Witcher 3. And Breath of the Wild. I have over 1000 hours in The Witcher 3. Even at full price for the base game and DLCs. It's still my best dollar slash hour investment of any game I own. Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. There is so much to do in this game. I'm 45 hours in and just got to the Elite 4 in my Nuzlocke run. These games are amazing. I love that there are hums that you don't even get until you get all 16 badges. The moment I discovered the post game in the original silver was pure minbuck. Not me, but my wife. She is in love with Fire Emblem 3 houses. She now has about 280 hours in the game and is only on her second playthrough. By the time she finishes all 4 routes her playtime is gonna be monstrous. 4 routes? Hell yes. I'm almost done with my second playthrough. Yep, without spoilers one route presents you with a critical decision before the time skip. And the route you get is based on that decision. Persona 5. I took a gamble on purchasing the game and it checked boxes on my list that I didn't even know existed. Likewise, and I love JRPGs. My brother dislikes them and he loves Persona 5. Has the battle theme as his ringtone. The Sims 3. Sims. I was thinking Skyrim. Maybe XCOM at nearly a thousand hours each. But it's The Sims 3 at nearly 2000 hours and another thousand for each iteration, including Sims 4. It's not the game I'm dying to play, it's the game I play between other games, a constant. Every time someone in the family boots it up again, I'm in for another few hundred hours. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, massive, massive game that I got for $30 on a sale. I really enjoy it, too, some may think it's repetitive. But there's so many different ways to go about doing things. I don't find it to be. Dr. Mario. Always say the same ones. I'll add a few more now. Baldur's Gate. Amazing story. Good replayability. Interesting lore. Lots of locations and enemies and tactics. Got me into RPG. Soul Reaver. Awesome Chars. Brilliant villain. Awesome voice cast and ost. Amazing lore and locations. Long. Interesting. Deep story, amazing boss mechanics, one true gem that really deserves a remake, Bloodborne, got me into Soulspawn games, amazing lore, interesting enemies and healthy community, or some bosses that reward learning curve and punish mistakes, a masterpiece, Witcher series, what can I say, amazing games, interesting Tori and Chars, cool mechanics, also cards, Oblivion, got I can't even count how many hours I put in that game. Tons of chars I created. 
finished the story just once or twice Lomeo. Mod it till you break it and you'll have a brand new game every time. Neverwinter Nights. Awesome story and chars. Cool lore. Fun and entertaining game. What really got me was the Aurora toolset. That allowed you to create modules. Damn. I created tons of campaigns and whatnot. Or sometimes. Honestly. Most games. Games are fairly inexpensive compared to most things. Take going out to eat for example. Probably cost about $20-25 per person and you do it for about an hour. Games are $60 and you get hours and hours. Days and days of entertainment out of them. Unfortunately, so many games are going away from that model. Which is a bummer. Probably because it is clear that there is more money to be had. Age of Empires 2 since there is a not unremote chance that I may indeed not have actually obtained it. And it's additional content. In a strictly standard societally approved method of acquisition. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru